I'm so sorry I'm Hello? Hello. Hi. So sorry I'm late. Hi. I was in another reservation and they um, called in a little late. So, you know, it was distorted. But anyway, I'm here. So tell me about yourself. What's your name? Okay. My name is Jessica La. Okay. What is your name? I'm Rebecca and I live in Mexico. What about you? I am Jessica Ra. I am from India. I am living in Andhra Pradesh state in India. Cool. So why do you want to improve your English? For communication, to communicate others. Communicate with others. So when do you speak with English speakers? Since three months. You've been speaking with English speakers for three months. So where? In Kamli, I am practicing English with the native okay. speakers since for for three months. Yes. Yeah, for three months. And then since would be for a specific date, so or a specific month, like since you know you know June or July or August or whatever, right? Okay. So, uh, tell me. Yeah, but my question was, when do you have to speak with English speakers? Because you said to communicate with people. That's why you want to learn English. So, when are you going to communicate with English speakers? In Camly? On Camly? No. Or like, your purpose for improving your English is to to um, communicate with people, right? In English, right? That's what you said. So yes. you're, I'm assuming you're on Camly to improve your English, right? Yes. So, and you said you want to improve it because of the communication with other people. So when are you going to communicate with other people? Which people, which English speakers are you going to communicate with? Like, um, who do you have to okay. speak English? Uh -huh. Yes, I have students. And also I want to teach to English my students, children. Okay, you're going to uh, teach English. Okay. Yes. All right, That I'm, I understand that now. So tell me, uh, how old are you? I am 26 years old now. 26? Okay, you look a lot younger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm 27. And um, you're already a formal English teacher or not yet? How's, how's your situation? Yes, formal. For, sorry? Formal. I don't understand that. What do you mean? Okay, I teach English to children to to improve my English. You teach English to children. Okay, so are you a form? Not mm -hmm. uh, yes, not uh, uh, not day by day or daily. When I have free time. To teach them. Okay, cool. So, so practicing English. Okay. So, what do you like to do for enjoyment, for fun? Actually, I have a um, baby girl. So that's why I don't have any much time. Okay. To spend with them, but I, I gain some knowledge about English. To un and also I correct myself. Okay, you have a baby, so you don't have much time to, you know, teach your English. But that wasn't my question. My question was, what do you like to do for fun, for enjoyment? What do you like to do? With my students or uh, with my family, what, 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 you, what you said? 
for fun. Do you know what fun is? Do you know what fun is? No. Okay. Uh, what you need to tell me if you don't understand me, you need to tell me um, that you didn't understand the question. So then I can I can write it. What do you like to do for fun? And let me. It, this is things that are enjoyable to to you. Things that you like to do. Yes. Um, okay. I think that, well, you told me that you were an intermediate level student, right? You told me in text. You can understand everything what I told you. <clears throat> and also, I, I am understand what you said. But I have I have small confusion about uh, you ask me about that. What do you do for fun? I think it's a very simple question. But okay, um, what do you do for enjoyment in general? In general, I I already I, I told you I spend with my family. It is the a uh, very uh, funniest moment with my baby girl. Okay, you spend your time with your uh, girl, with your baby? Yes. And your family? Yes, and also family. Anything else? Or that's pretty much it? Yeah, before I got married, I want to go MS and also do my master's degree. Okay. All right. So that's why that's why I, I am uh, I am learning English with with uh, free time now. I have free time now. Yes. I don't know when I go outside uh, out of states. You don't know when you will be able So to. so mm -hmm. Yeah. So I am practicing English through Camly now. Okay. So mm, you do can I have a s I have a question. You have what? I have a question. I have a question. You have a question. Yes. You have any problem to listen my voice? Understanding you, you mean? Do you have problems understanding me? Uh, not really. Just a few things that are not one hundred percent clear, uh, or okay. Or if there is any grammar error, I will definitely point it out. That's my style. That's I mentioned that in my video. That's the best way to learn English. So that's what I'm gonna do with my students. But there are a lot of tutors who don't do that, and some some students like that. And it's okay, but it's not my style at all. Okay, I have, I have, I have question for you. Yeah. I want to know about. Uh, uh, we are using on yet. On and yet. In yes, you, when you are use that yet 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 you are using at specific time, it is correct. Um, when I use yet, I use it at a specific, like in a specific situation. Yeah, I do. Like, yeah, it's a very specific word, right? So, uh, like, uh, something that has not happened yet because it might happen later. It's on, on. And, and on, uh, Okay. Uh, well, it's for a lot of things. Like it could be on top of something, on like related to something, related to a matter. Like I don't have an opinion on that. Um, it could be, yeah, it's many, many, many uh, uses. But let me think of more. Um, and on, it could be for a time. On. Um, yes. Yeah. On May 16, 2018, or whatever, you know, like a specific time. Yeah. So that's pretty much. And also, mm -hmm. 
yes since also using for specific time it the particular uh, time on year how do you find out when you are use both on or since um so, okay yeah so on is for a specific date and then since is mm, this hap so on is only that date only that date and then since is also specific date you would say specific date but when talking when talking about something that is ongoing ongoing like i have been studying english since may you know whatever 2018 like my previous example but on is only that exact date date okay yeah any other questions yes and also how questions about uh when when you are using verbs verbs okay yes how do we uh, uh remember how to how do you remember a verb yes verbs in yes it have three forms in past present and future tense i'm not sure if there's a general rule but you would just have to study them all but generally when it's past tense then you add ed generally but yes <clears throat> and when it's future you just add a will you put like a will and then the simple present tense for example give me any verb Walk. walk okay i walk on the street and then in the past i walked right i walked and then in the future i will walk yeah all right and you yes I, i wake up wake okay. up i and then that one's kind of irregular right so i i wake up and then last night i woke up it's irregular and so future i will wake up future i will that one doesn't change that one's you know just because it's irregular then doesn't mean it's going to be irregular in all the tenses and so anything else any other verbs yes i i want to learn one idioms from you can can you tell me what idioms what idioms what like what idioms i could teach you it's regular sorry what it's regular regular one what is regular i don't know what you're talking about you told me a verb i you said idioms yes 